In 2009, Kyle bought this 2004 Mystachrome Terminator Cobra. He was 20 years old at the time. He bought the car in Hoover, Alabama, and the car had bolt-ons and a ported Eaton. The ported Eaton supercharger made 512 to the wheels, which is right where mine was with the ported Eaton on my 10th anniversary Cobra that I have. Kyle says that at the time, he was a 20-year-old kid, and he didn't really know what he had. And unfortunately, he didn't have the car very long. The real sad thing was, he had the car for about three months, but he spent five months recovering at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta for what happened next. He was involved in a terrible accident with this car. Unfortunately, he was driving the car on drag radials, and the road was wet, and he hit a pine tree going 120 miles an hour, and this is what happened to the car. The Cobra was totally ruined, and as you can tell, physics does not play any favors. The laws of physics didn't care that this was a limited production Mystachrome Terminator Cobra. What happened, happened, and it's really sad. The worst part in all this was how bad he was injured and what he had to go through uh, to recover from this. Luckily, he survived. That's the good news. But when this happened, it broke his neck in four places. It knocked out eight of his teeth, and he was paralyzed for a few months. But with therapy, he was able to walk again. And that is a miracle. I think that's wonderful that uh, it's a decent outcome for what had happened. Kyle is subscribed to the channel, and he loves the videos I put out. He's been very nice and complimentary of uh, my car projects and my stories. So it's nice to meet people like that. And there are people watching these stories who have had experiences like this before. And it's really unfortunate, but I want to thank him for uh, being on here and for sharing his story with me. So I thought we'll look at these pictures a little more in detail for a minute. You can see the rear bumper is cracked and busted up pretty good. The tail light might be salvageable, the spoiler, a couple small parts like that. But the car was a total loss. In this picture, you can see that the car is almost twisted around where the tree was. The door was pushed in halfway into the interior of the car. I'm actually surprised that the door and the mirror are still on there. And I'm surprised that the distance between where the wheel is and the center of the door. You can see the side scoop is gone, and I'm surprised the door isn't completely off the car. And look at how tall the roof is now from the accident pushing it upward. Obviously the front bumper cover is gone, but the snake's still on there. And again, in this picture, you can see how the roof bows upward, and basically every panel on the car has been twisted. So it's really sad and really unfortunate, both for his injury and for the loss of the car. But in this story, I'm more concerned about him, and I'm glad that he's okay. So unfortunately, this is the fate of one of 515 Mr. Chrome Coupes, or in total, one of 1,010 Mr. Chrome Terminator Cobras. And these cars do go through this kind of stuff. They disappear, they get wrecked, some of them get fixed. And when you see parts for sale like Mr. Chrome seats or the engine out of a Terminator or even the transmission, this is an example of where those parts probably came from. So sad to see, but I'm glad Kyle's okay. I want to thank everybody who watches the channel, everybody who leaves nice comments. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for more of these Mustang stores.